Hey girlfriend, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Destiny Moshe. If you are new here, hello and welcome to the Slay Nation. Today's video is going to be on this look right here. How to get this sultry, smoky green eye look. Now you can go bold with the lip or you can go new. You can't go wrong with a new, but for all our daring people who loves the bold looks, this is how we do it. <laughs> Then just keep on watching. I'm going to show you guys how to create this eyeshadow look and lip. So if you want to keep watching before you go, click that subscribe button. You can either click the little heart on the screen. I don't know what sign you do. We'll figure it out together. Or click that red subscribe button. And after you do that, then you're free to proceed. You know what I'm saying? So give you some time to do it. And let's go. So today I am starting with my eyebrows already done like normal and one eye already done. So to prime my other eye, I'm using my Hold the Grill, my staple, the one that I always use, my Benefit Stay On Stray um, eyeshadow primer. And this is in the shade Light Medium. And normally I do one coat, but I wanted this to really shine and see through, so I use two coats. And also, I'm going to be using some brushes that I recently purchased from the crayon case. I don't know why all of them. So, I did film a video last night, but I did not like the way that it came out. And I was demoing these brushes. And I didn't feel like I it was good enough to put on YouTube. So, um, I was just like, I'll just another video and I'll let you guys know how I like them and how they performed um, doing that video. I'm going to be doing this green, fall, smoky, affordable eyeshadow look today. So it kind of matches my dress that I have on or not. So without talking any more than I've already done because I've been rambling for four minutes. Let's go ahead and get this shadow popping. The first palette we're using will be the Nubian 2 palette. I'm also taking my crayon case blending brush and I'm dipping it. I'm dipping it into Morocco. So I'm going to start on my lower lid and then blend my way up. Next, I'm taking my Morphe 35S Well Used Palette. I'm going to be dipping it into this dark green color, and I'm still using the same, uh, the same brush. And this dark green color doesn't have a name, so the dark green color. And I'm basically going to do the same thing. Start down here and just make my way up to the top. Then I'm going back in with Morocco on a medium on the medium medium on the medium blending brush just a little bit just so I can blend out um, the green and the orange a little bit more. Then 
I am going to take my Morphe palette one more again and my little flat shader brush and I'm going to dip it into this black right there. And now I'm going to blend it out. Next, taking my small cream brush, dip it into a little H2O, dry it off a bit, and then I'm going to put my brush into the shade Egypt. Then I'm going to take this Morphe M138 brush and dip it and dip it back into that black and just go over the tips to blend all of it together. Then going back in with my little dabbing brush put some more black on the side and then go back with my medium blending brush and blend it all out So I'm going to finish my face and then I'll come back and finish the eyes. Another affordable palette I want to talk to you guys about is the Beauty Bakery Coco and Coffee Palette. Now, if you don't know the backstory behind this palette, I want to tell you because I believe that the story is awesome. So Cashmere, who is the owner of the brand Beauty Bakery, has a daughter who is of darker skin complexion. If you have melanin like me, then you know the struggle of being inclusive in the makeup community. So her daughter being of darker skin complexion didn't have much of a choice in brands to be able to contour and highlight with. So Cashmere came up with this palette spinning for people such as her daughter and other darker skinned women um, to be able to highlight and contour. Now I know a lot of people be overhyping brands for no doggone reason, but this palette deserves all the hype. This palette I used last night in my video that didn't go so well, and I love it. In person, the um the colors are a tad bit darker, but you know it's still it's still pretty and it still gives you the idea of the colors as well. Um. So as for me, I can't use any of these. Um, well, I can't use the top one, the, the top row. The top row is like a setting row, uh, a baking row. It is too bright for me. I will look ashy using it. And then, which is which is called Deja Brew. Deja Brew, Deja Brew. Um, the second color, which is a dark color, is called Antidepressant, which darker skin tones can use that to... Um, 
to contour with and also it's like a highlight so you have like a, a glowing contour um this highlight shade is called your grounded perfect for my skin complexion and darker and then la vida no yeah la vida mocha is like a blush cup a it's a blush color and it's almost like a coral tone a, a peachy coral tone and i love it so i'm going to put that on my face right now and let you guys see how it shows on me if you're my skin tone yeah soon now this one so I'm taking this little random brush that I got from Amazon and I'm going to dip her into anti, I mean, La Vida Mocha. And I'm going to put that on my cheeks. Not with that brush, I ain't new. Not with that brush. Okay, we're going to blend this out because we use the wrong brush. Okay, so your grounded is a subtle highlight, but of course, if you keep adding on, you can probably get it to bling and pop. But I don't want to take the focus away from the eyes today, so I am going to turn it down a bit, a lot of bit actually. And now to finish off the eyes, I am going to use this um green eye lip liner pencil from a brand called me now and i got this off amazon some years ago so i'm not sure if it's still on there or not but i guess any green liner would do under my eye with the medium blending brush I'm gonna dip into Morocco and then I'm going to 
to go into the green shade from Morphe. Okay, and last, I'm going to take I Love That I Eat in ColourPop's collaboration. This is the Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Mama Sita. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this look kicked in all your fall vibe holiday looks. I hope you guys recreate it and try it and tag me in it because I love to see you guys' recreation. If this tutorial touched you in some kind of way or it's like, oh, that look good when it came all together, hit that subscribe button and then come back because it's going to be more like this. They're going to be like, oh, you did that? It okay? So just come on back. Just come on back. Like it. Share it with your friends. And have them subscribe as well. We'd be one big old Slay Nation. Until the next video. Bye.